Larson from St. Paul, who is standing in room 5 of the State Office Building, where education reform takes place. Uh, some of the bills that passed out of this committee this week were um, House Senate File 1656 that requires the legislature to authorize any revisions of academic standards or high school standards. Once again, there was a lot of discussion about the fact that the power should sit with the legislature rather than with the commissioner. Also, House File 2596 and Senate File 2183, its companion, passed the House and the Senate to prohibit MDE from enforcing any unadopted rules. As all of you would know, you get notifications from MDE. They appear to have the power of rule, but they have not been passed through the legislature. And once again, legislators feel very, very strongly about the fact that that power rests only with the legislature and not with agencies. The big bill of the day, which is on the floor at 4.30 this afternoon, is uh, Chair Garofalo's House File 2083. This appears to be his omnibus bill. It was kind of dropped on the committee and um, passed out of committee. Then it went through Ways and Means, it went through taxes, and now it will be on the floor. However, it does not have a Senate companion. The talk was that there would be two education omnibus bills, and then the talk was that there would only be this one, and now they're hearing bills today that actually were laid out for, for possible inclusion into another omnibus bill. So it looks like there might be two. Hi, John Call here. I just wanted to take a minute to give a special thank you to uh, Representative Dwayne Kwam, first of all, uh, for catching something that uh, we all missed, which was when Rochester became a city of the first class, unbeknownst to us, the general obligation levy authority we had would be greatly reduced as it is for uh, cities of the first class. Um, school districts like Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Duluth have achieved uh, an exemption from it over the years, and now we need an exemption uh, uh, unless we, uh, because otherwise we'll be subjected to very, very severe limits in terms of what we can do. I also want to thank uh, Senator uh, Dave Senjum for being the chief author of the same bill in the Senate. Hopefully we can get this taken care of even at this late hour. There was an interesting bill that said that school boards can uh, decide whether to have school on Veterans Day, Martin Luther King Day, Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday, otherwise President's Day, as long as they give an hour and a half of the day to commemorating um, those individuals or those events and it would be up to the school board as to whether they wanted to have school or not. I thought it would be controversial, it actually was not, it passed through pretty easily. Uh, they did have Columbus Day in there, but they struck that out since nobody's really sure if Columbus Day is a holiday or not. Let's see, that's probably about it for this week. They're they have an integration bill that has been introduced, and that is going to be uh, heard probably this next week in Chair Garofalo's committee, and we will see what direction that goes. Representative Mariani and, Rep and Senator Weger did introduce the department's bill, um, which is uh, mostly about charter schools and homeschoolers and homeless students. And it was amended in the Senate, and it looks like it will probably be amended here in the House when it gets a hearing this evening. So we will see how that bill goes. Uh, I know that there's not a lot of Republican support for it, but things are flowing along pretty nicely here. A lot of evening meetings, as there will be for the next week or so, until they all meet deadline. Hope you all have a great week. We'll talk to you next week.